Welcome toy fans to another third or three views. Remember this, where I take an in-depth look at some of our favorite 80s and 90s toys, and today I will be taking a look at the 1990s Gargoyles. Gargoyles was created as an American animated series by Disney and Brunetta Vista Television in the early 1990s. It ran from October 24th, 1994 to February 15th, 1997. It was three seasons and had 78 22-minute episodes. The first season had 13 episodes, while the second season had 52 episodes. By the third season, the entire staff for the animation, producers, and writers had changed, which explains the completely different feel of the third season from the first two. While there has been a DVD release of Gargoyles, the show has not yet been released on Blu-ray. Season 1 was released on DVD in 2004 as part of their 10-year anniversary. Season 2 Part 1 was released in 2005 but Season 2 Part 2 was not released until 2013. In the height of its popularity, Gargoyles had a few toy lines, a Sega Genesis video game, and a comic book series, along with several other different merchandise. The initial comic series ran in Disney Adventures magazine and had 11 stories. Some of these stories would later become episodes, such as the two-part Cold Stone story. In 1995, Marvel Comics ran an 11-issue comic series called Gargoyles. While it was not based off the original animated series, it did reference key events from the show. In the mid to late 2000s, Slave Labor Graphics continued the story from the original first two seasons, mostly ignoring the plot of the show's third season. It was 12 issues long and ran from 2006 to 2009. They also created several side stories, such as their Bad Guys miniseries. Slave Labor Graphics would have continued to produce Gargoyle comics had Disney not increased their licensing fees. The most recent Gargoyle comics were produced in 2015 by Joe Books. In 1996, Kenner released several action figures, vehicles, and a castle playset. There were more than 20 5-inch action figures and 3 vehicles. Series 1 of the action figures were mostly the main characters, while Series 2 had many of the variations. These variations were almost identical sculpts to Series 1 figures with different paint decos. Such variations included Stone Camo, Ice Storm, Flamestorm, and Rainstorm, just to name a few. In addition, there was also Hardwire and Deluxe Battle Double Gargoyles. The action figures came on blister card packaging that fully showcased the figure and all of their accessories. The back of the card showed images of other figures in the series. The vehicles and playsets came in boxes with artwork on the front. Kenner also released a 15-inch Ultimate Scale Goliath. Many of these figures had different action features, such as snapping jaws or water blast action for the Rainstorm Hudson. Several of these figures had basic articulation, their heads could turn left or right, their arms could move up and down, and their legs could move forward and backwards. Their tails were also articulated for most of the figures, however, some figures did not have moving tails. Their accessories were mostly weapons that included missile launchers or rocket launchers of some kind. A common problem with these figures is not only did they lose their accessories, but often their wings and tails. It can be a little tricky to find an intact gargoyle out in the wild. If you are interested in getting one of these figures, I would recommend online sites like eBay or going out to a toy show. There were also a few large vinyl gargoyle figures produced by Applause. These figures had limited articulation and only included the main gargoyles, Lexington, Hudson, Broadway, Brooklyn, Goliath, and Demona. Compared to the Kenner figures, I feel that these vinyls are a better representation of the original animated characters. While the sculpt is simpler than the Kenner figures, I feel that the painted details are cleaner and the overall appearance is a better match to the show. Gargoyles was one of my favorite 90s animated series growing up and I still regularly watch the show. While the toys and comics may not completely capture the feeling of the show, they did an excellent job in building upon that world. If you're a fan of the show and need a little bit more Gargoyles in your life, I would recommend picking up the vintage Marvel comics or your favorite character in toy form. I hope that you've enjoyed this video. If you did, please remember to hit that like button and subscribe so you can check out all my other reviews. And if you have any 80s or 90s toys you would like me to take a look at, please let me know in the comments below. So until then, this has been Third Earth Reviews.